global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. All right, let's get to the concluding part of today's hearing in um, PT, PEPT Court Court of Appeal today in Abuja. And of course, Peter B. Labour Party have said to have a star witness, and I can assure you, it's a lovely one. Okay, but um, quick one. Remember that Pinokote for Labour Party has actually called up another witness uh, for full details on the previous one. Just check our playlist, you get to see that. Okay, that's the 11th one so far. A pin asked uh, the normal process proceeding began it says still have a permission to call the next witness on subpoena barrister Emmanuel Edet, which is the witness 11 head of service NITDA. Witness steps up and swears with the Bible. Pina asked, he said, the subpoena asks you to produce three documents. Witness said, we do not have the first document in our office. We don't have the second. Don't also have the third as well. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Now, all respondents have objected to Barrister Emmanuel Edde, that's the head of service NITDA, testify. Court has admitted, though. <laughs> now, he was, so, he was supposed to bring like um, three documents with him. Uh, one, a document sent by sent by them to INEC requesting payment. Two, a certificate of clearance issued by them to INEC following the first document. Then three, the report submitted by INEC to them regarding beavers and, and electronic transmission. So let's continue. INEC now said no cross-examination for this witness. Olani Kwekunwale begins cross-examination for Tinubu and Shutima. Uh, the, the lawyer asks, who is the head of NITDA? The witness said, Kashifu Inwa Abdullahi. Uh, the lawyer asks, what is his designation? The witness says, CEO and DG. The, the lawyer asks, you got subpoena today? He said, yes. The lawyer asks, you don't have the authority? I tell it again, you don't have the authority of your DG to come here? The witness said, the subpoena was directed to me as a person. That is why I am here. The lawyer asks again, again, do you have his authority to come here? The witness said, I told him about the subpoena. The, the lawyer said, you have the art of 200 NITDA art. Witness said, yes. The lawyer said, have you read it? Witness said, yes. Now, Fagbe me for APC cross-examines the witness, Barrister Manuel Edet, head of service NITDA. The lawyer asked, did then Minister of Communications and Digital Economy said there were about 16 million attempts to hack INEC website? Witness said yes. The lawyer asked, the minister said the office was the source of that info? The witness says, yeah, I'm aware. The lawyer asked, you are also aware that INEC is an independent body? Witness said, yeah. The lawyer said, my lord, arrest my case. Court went on recess for like 10 minutes, but of course they're back. Uh, now, the star witness has been called up. A lot of people are wondering, who is the star witness? Well, in a moment, we're going to find out. Now, Levi Uzoko San have decided to call out the, the star witness. I guess probably maybe they want to cross-examine him. Uh, he now said, what is the name? The witness, the star witness said, Yenu Satanko. I take that again. Witness said, Yenu Satanko. Levi asked, Where do you live? Witness said, Do say Ahaji. The lawyer asked, Labor Party lawyer Levi, and I said, You will recall that you filed the witness statement on oath? Witness said, Yeah. Levi said, How can you recognize it? Witness said, My, my signature and acronym to you. Levi asked, you want to adopt the statements as your evidence in this case? Witness said yes. Now the examination in chief for Yanu Setanko, LPPCC spokesperson Kosti continues. And Dr. Levi now said, aside being a politician, do you have any other occupations? He said, I am an accountant. Levi now said in paragraph 1. Of the, the, the position you said you, you are a member of Labour Party? Witness said, yes, I am a member of the Situation Room as well. He said, see exhibit PA124, 
In paragraph one of that deposition, you said you're a member of the Labour Party. Witness said, yes, I'm a member of the Situation Room as well. Levana said, uh, these are the exhibits you refer to in your deposition? Witness said, yes. And said, Witness now said, um, confirm that um, exhibit, I tell that again, confirm that exhibit PA5 are the ones you refer to in paragraph 32 of your deposition. Take a look at this bundle of receipts. That's the lawyer accent. Witness now said, yes, confirmed. He, the lawyer now asked again, take a look at the bundle of receipts received from INEC for various documents certified and made available for petitioners. Witness said, yes. Labor parties now asked, these are the receipts you refer to in paragraph 102, subparagraph QQ. Witness said, yes, my lord. The lawyer asked again, we seek to tender the said receipt. Courts, objections? Uh, the first respondent said, no objection. Second, third, and fourth respondent said, no objections as well. Court admitted and marked it PCQ. They were party to court staff. So give him this bundle of letters. These are the letters you identified in paragraph 8 that were sent to INEC. Witness said, yes. Labor Party lawyer now asked, we seek to tender them. Of course, first respondent said, no objection. Second and third respondent said, we object and we give reasons. Fourth, object, fourth respondent said, we object and we give reasons later. The Labor Party lawyer asked again, when we see the objection, we will reply. Court said, admit and mark it as PCQ1 to PCA6. Okay, now, Labor Party lawyer now asks, in paragraph 36 of your deposition, you made reference to a press release signed by Festus Okoye, National Commissioner or INEC, of INEC. He said, witness said yes. Labor Party lawyer said, if you see it, will you identify it? He said yes. Witness said yes. Then I asked, please show it to him, that document. Exhibit PCK2 has already been tendered in evidence. Witness said yes. Lawyer asked, at paragraph 20 of your deposition, you stated that you can identify all forms EC8A, B, C, D, and E as well as all other electoral INEC documents. Witness said yes. Labor Party lawyer said, if you see them, will you identify them? Witness said yes. Witness looks at them. Labor Party said, PC1 to PCE4, where you, where you, where you mentioned 18,088 blood results from IRF. Can you see them? Witness said, yes, I identify them. Lawyer asked again, apart from these documents, you have identified. You were also given CTCs of blood that certified two copies of blood IRF results and they have been tendered in evidence. Witness said, yes, that's all for him. Now, the cross-examination for a star witness in Usatanko will be done tomorrow. Court is hereby adjourned till tomorrow, Friday, June 23rd by 3 p.m. Uh, this is for probably to allow for our Muslim brothers to have further Islamic uh, prayers. Okay, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Tanko Yanusa was actually the star witness of the day. Uh, despite the fact that um, they were really surprised that um, the NITDA guy came in. In fact, they made it clear that he came on his own, you know, because they, they didn't expect him to be there. But then again, this is court proceedings. Everything and anything is possible. Let's put in our conversation. That's the concluding part of today's hearing. We'll meet again tomorrow. Same time.